Hi, my name is Mahevash and I'm the blogger at Healthy Places Work and Bipolar or Depression Blog. So today I'm going to be talking about how to stand up to uh, internalized capitalism. Um, so the thing is, first you should be aware of your work life. Like, uh, exa- for example, if you're finding yourself working for more than a certain number of hours per day, uh, you need to know why. Like, uh, you know, once in a while, if you have a deadline, you know, you have to no option but to complete that work at that certain time. So it's fine. But if you're doing this regularly and because, you know, work feeds your self-worth. It's like if you work, then only you feel worthwhile. Like, you know, you're spending your time, right? Mm -hmm. Then you have a problem. And uh, so, you know, it's probably best to seek professional help at this point. Especially if you're one of those people who, you know, they've always been called a workaholic. It's not so easy to deal with this by yourself. But if this is relatively new, you can, you know, try the next steps that I'm going to suggest now. Uh, So, you, you know, the second thing you can do is to try and maintain a work routine. Like, you know, you tell yourself that I will not work more than uh, seven to eight hours per day. And you stick to that. Now, of course, right now, it might be the case that you're not able to do as a solid eight hour shifts like you used to do before in your day job, like when you used to go to the office and stuff. But um, it's fine. As long as you, you know, throughout the day, if you pace yourself and you get doing only like eight hours of work, I think that that's fine. So as long as you're not... uh, just doing only work you know that again is a problem so how you can maintain like you know count the number of hours you're getting in especially like you know when you're not uh, working at, at one, one in one uh, whole shift it's like you know you can time yourself and maintain this time sheet uh, it, it could be uh, like written it doesn't have to be an official document whatever works for you or you can uh, you know tell somebody who can hold you accountable or maybe you can even try daily mantras like you know I'm not the work I produce you know whatever works for you you have to figure that out Uh, and the third thing you need to do is limit your social media and use it as in you should be able to see less and less people humble bragging so it really doesn't matter if you're using social media just to you know see memes or watch funny videos that's not a problem but you know if you have if you're following a lot of people and uh, i'm sure by now you've seen like these kind of you know made the best use of lockdown or quarantine these kind of posts and you know what happens is that immediately anybody it's very natural that you'll just start comparing yourself to them and then you feel insecure you think you know okay i have to compete now and so you post something to you know show that okay i can also do it and and then in a way you're perpetuating that toxic cycle right because somebody else is going to see your post and think okay i should have been doing this instead and what i'm just relaxing right now that's not okay and you know they will go around and publish it something you know to boast or to show that they too are you know worthy and it's it's a whole cycle so break it and uh, be mindful of the content you consume and publish on social media uh yeah i think that's about it i'm going to be trying out these three things and i'm really really hoping that they work for me i've also spoken to my therapist so she should help me figure out something if this doesn't work or you know some additional stuff uh if you have any suggestions of your own please let me know in the comment section below thank you Bye bye